You guys know the drill by now. We're basically back in the full swing of Cold War zombies. But in case you don't know, let me catch you up. So basically, we've been going back through and getting all these weapon mastery calling cards for every weapon in zombies. But recently, we've been having the mystery box pick what weapon we do. But today, I think I'm going to pick. And I kind of want to use a melee weapon. And that melee weapon is the machete. I haven't used this in a bit, and it seemed like fun. And we need about 1,200 kills with it. So it's not going to be an easy task. But let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get this thing done. All right, here we go. Hopping on into Forsaken. And I'm really excited to get this weapon done uh if i remember correctly this probably has the most lunge out of any melee weapon in the game which is a lot of fun to use it can be goofy but i think it can also get us killed in zombies so i remember in multiplayer the lunge being like so insane it would actually like launch you up like different objects on the map like it would happen a lot on ICBM with all those slopes where you just go to swing at somebody and all of a sudden you're flying in the air. And we had something similar to that happen when we were playing on Forsaken last time, getting the baseball bat done. I want to see if I can try to recreate that. But I also got some good news and some bad news. The good news is, is I think I'm like fully back in and invested in the Cold War. So I've been having a lot of fun coming back here and getting these masteries done, you know, just not worrying about going for any specific challenge, but just getting like a bunch of kills with each weapon. And it's been a blast. The bad news is, is I think this game is becoming more and more unplayable uh, from some, you know, bad actors in the community. People that just uh, are, are going in and crashing, I think, specifically content creators games. But I, I think it could happen to anybody. Uh, last time I was playing Cold War, Samuel the 17th and I, you know, uh, it, you guys might have seen the video where... We were trying to get to round 100 and some dude just joined our lobby and crashed it. And I saw a few people commenting on this video saying like, why don't you just put the game on private and invite only and appear offline and all that. I don't think it really matters. Because our game was on private. Both of ours were, our, our party privacies. And neither of us had them on our friends list. We didn't invite them. We were already in a solo game with our party limit set to two. And they can still just force their way into the game or just crash your game whenever they want and it's just really annoying so I, I know i've had people ask me to to stream the game since we've come back to it but i don't know if we can anymore so i'm pretty sure they look for people that are streaming the game and they're like oh they're streaming it let me watch their reaction to it live as i you know crash their game and stop them from playing because they got nothing else better to do and it's just really disappointing i i hope Activision steps in and they they do something about you know all the shit going on with not only Cold War but any COD game that's not the current one and make it so these just losers can't ruin it for everybody. I think as long as I'm you know not live while I'm playing it, we should be good. But uh, knock on wood, this just feels right using a melee weapon in zombies. I'm glad that they added a bunch of melee weapons in besides like some wonder weapons or like the Bowie knife. This is just awesome. Just slashing your way through hordes. Ooh, ooh, maybe not that awesome when they're actually doing decent damage to me. It's just so satisfying. The crazy thing is, is basically any melee weapon is going to be better than this map's wonder weapon. Meleeing at least like round 38 plus. I, I still don't know why they made the crystal axe. Like such a cool design, a, a really nice looking weapon and like a dual function weapon where you can change it into a gun. And they made it so it doesn't one shot after I, I think 38 like I, like I said earlier I don't know it's been a while since I've used it but it's definitely one of my favorite looking wonder weapons and they didn't have to do it like that I think it's because it has like the the broad swing where you can hit multiple things at once but so does the scythe and the scythe still one shots after round 38 oh yeah you can see it kind of like auto lunging onto just random zombies like not even ones that I'm looking at that's gonna be an issue on these higher rounds so I'm gonna put out my guess right now. I think we'll get this all the way done at around round 35. I think that's a, a safe bet. We have 200 kills right now. We need a thousand more than that. Oh shit. Okay, I think I'm starting to overstay my welcome in this first room. That's twice like in a row that we got our health all the way down. So I'm gonna start up our portal. Actually, you know what? Since we do have all these zombies right here, let's stun them, get all the points for the stun, and then try to get a few kills off of it. So cool that they, they added a bunch of tacticals in too. It's nice having more options. It's cool having like a nade and like a monkey bomb and everything, but if you can't get a monkey bomb, like it's not dropping and you don't wanna like, I don't know, craft one. Stuns and decoys are just so good. All right, let's head on through. Let's get our loose change from Jug and pick it up. And right over here is where we had that little lunge glitch. It was like onto this box and we went flying. I want to see if we can get that to happen again. I want to get all the zombies over here. And right, we brought them on over. Let's see if anything happens. Besides me dying. 
Fuck. Okay, well, maybe we should try this with a little smaller of a sample size. And there goes the jug that we just bought. So let's grab Quick Revive before this thing ends a little prematurely. This is already getting difficult. It's round 12. I can't even get like a swing in without getting hit. Oh, fuck me. Let's grab stamina up since we're right here. I do want to go back and get jug again, especially since we don't have any armor. So we kind of racked up a lot of money there in that first 12 rounds. We walked out of there with damn near 50k. Oh, this isn't good. Stun. Zombies out of the way, please. Let me through. Let me down. I'm completely stuck right here. Let me out. Let me out. Holy fuck. Well, there goes Jug once again. This is getting ridiculous, dude. Hey, let me get this round a little bit lower. That way we're not fucking struggling as bad. Okay, we have like four or five zombies now. I want to try the lunge thing one more time. Come on. I don't remember which side I was on for it, but I think maybe being near it would help. Okay, yeah, that's not working. We got one guy left. Now's our time to actually go get everything. So we'll grab Jug for the third time. And I hope we still have enough money to make it through the rest of the map because I've kind of just burned through all of our funds just being an idiot. Okay, where's our part at? Right here. Oh, and you know what I forgot to do last time we played on here? Grab all the loose change in here. There's a lot. And I'm pretty sure every machine that you can do something on, you can get loose change from. There we go. Pretty sure that's all of them. Let's grab a little loose change right here. Let's grab our part from in here. There it is. What the? Okay, well, I obviously bought this door too fast because now I have a QBZ. I'm just the greatest at wasting money. Give me that flashlight, sir. And our last part is right here. A little loose change too. This map's got to have like the most loose change in like zombies history. So much free money laying around. What's going on, gentlemen? This dude's long as shit. Pause. Go ahead and bring on the abomination. Come on in. You get some kisses too. And a few swipes. Ooh. Bust up your jaw. And I'm putting my balls in your jaw. Ball, 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 balls in your jaw. Night, night. I'm gonna grab some armor while we're right here. Zombie, fuck off. And let's lift the lock down. Quick little loose change here. And you know what? Let's grab pack a punch. We get one of these. And what ammo mod are we doing today? Hmm. I don't want to use Shatter Blast. Because I've used Shatter Blast, like, to death. Uh, you know what? Napalm. We'll use Napalm. That seems like fun. Let's get out of here before we get radiated to death. And I also still have people asking me how I have, like, purple on round, like, one or two or whatever. Uh, if you don't know, if you go through and you do all the Easter eggs in this game, and then you go on, uh, the Outbreak map, Ruka, there's, like, a little, what would you call it? A, a relic? Like, there's like three podiums or, or a bunch of podiums there representing each Easter egg. And if you go there and you make the pact, which you do by just like interacting with the one thing, it'll give you like a, a bunch of, I think, calling cards or emblems and stuff for getting the Easter eggs done. And then on top of that, you get to spawn in with uh, whatever rarity of the amount of Easter eggs you have. So if you have like one or two done, I think you start with like green instead of red. And then oh, what are the other rarities like? blue and then you get all the way up to pink pink is the highest that you can get it would be cool if you could start with legendary but I, that might be a little too over op but once you get them all done starting with pink is pretty cool get a nice little advantage and you can save on salvage and put that towards like armor or save up for getting legendary faster it's pretty cool but i've been getting back into zombies not just cold war zombies but just zombies in general uh the other day i played plutonium which is like the safe client to play like bo2 and bo one zombies games. I was playing through Mob of the Dead and I forget how good some of those older maps are. Like, it's just so much fun going back and playing those. And even, I know it's very hated for whatever reason, but uh, the other day I was talking about how Samuel and I tried to play like Mob Around 100. Well, when that didn't work, we ended up playing uh, some BO4 and we played uh, Blood of the Dead and we we're doing gauntlets on that. And gauntlets are like challenges where like a, a new challenge happens every round. Like some could be like, don't let zombies enter this area. Some are like play with inverted controls. Like it, it's actually a lot of fun and it's pretty difficult to do. But I should be having uh, a video of us doing that coming out soon. And Samuel's going to have a video of that coming out as well. So be on the lookout for both of those. And I'm kind of tempted to go back and try to learn like the Easter eggs for all those maps. Because the only Easter eggs I've done for zombies are all of Cold Wars. I'm pretty sure I've done like every main Easter egg. Well, I know for sure I've done every main Easter egg in this game. In basically all the side Easter eggs. I don't know if I've missed any. I probably have. And then for the older COD games, I've done basically Shadows of Evil. But we didn't have enough players to get the cutscene. 
I've done Ascension's Easter egg. And I think I did Doris or the Giant. I don't remember which one, but they're basically the same. And I think that's it. I haven't done the, the Easter eggs for like Origins or like Dorizen Drac. Oh, wait, no, I've done Mob of the Dead's Easter egg. Because we did that uh, two players. Silky and I did that one. But I'm kind of intimidated to go back to it. Because a lot of those Easter eggs are way more complicated compared to Cold Wars. And I'm not the greatest at those games. So I feel like it's going to take me a lot of trial and error just to, like, be alive long enough to get the items necessary to even, like, start the quest. But when I was playing Mob of the Dead, it, it kind of reminded me of when I was going back and going through and, you know, doing all those, like, older zombie maps that I've never played before. And how intimidated i was to start black ops one or two honestly i don't remember which one mob that was on but i just felt like i was so bad and i didn't know anything about it and there's like i don't know pressure for me to try to figure it all out even though i wasn't the greatest at it and now i i really do enjoy the map and i enjoy playing those games so i think it's probably easier for me to figure it out now but i know it's going to be tough and napalm burst is kind of cheeks it basically only kills the one zombie you're swinging at, and the rest of them kind of just get lit on fire a little bit. I mean, a few other zombies just died from flame-related injuries, but this has got to be the weakest ammo mod. Oh, shit. Okay, well, I didn't have to... didn't want to have to do that during an insta-kill, but they made me. How many kills are we at right now? 455? We still got a long ways to go. Yeah, I think I need to switch this ammo mod bad. I kind of want to just throw on, like, cryo. If we're not going to go all out and use shatter blasts, Cryo Freeze will be enough for us. And I got all this money. I might as well buy some uh, perks or Pack-A-Punch this some more. Actually, you know what? I'll Pack-A-Punch it. We'll get it Pack 2 and grab Cryo. And then with the rest of our money, let's try to make it to the Wonder Fizz and not die. Mimic, don't even try me. Idiot, what did I just say? All right, we're going to pop this and grab Speed Cola, even though we kind of don't need it, but it helps us get our uh, field upgrade faster. And I think we have everything else that we need. Honestly, I don't know what Deadshot helps either with uh, melee weapons. But I think you can still hit criticals with melees somehow. Because this does say I have 261 crits. So maybe if I slice at their head, it'll do a little extra damage than normal. But besides that, a lot of these perks are kind of useless with melees. Like the only reason I really buy Mule Kick most of the time is for the, the extra ammo drops that it gives. Oh, I guess getting Mule Kick can help with like the tacticals and lethals. Because I'm pretty sure it has a chance to keep your tactical and lethal when you use it. So that's a positive uh, to getting Mule Kick. But Deadshot's all like critical damage like it just helps with the crits i hope they have this sort of like system for the next black ops game or the black ops zombies like the using the aether crystals and leveling stuff up out of game like having skill trees to progress outside of also like grinding camos like it's just a, another thing to help you progress towards and work towards and i honestly hope it's a little more in depth and i hope there's a way to shut it off too if you want to give yourself more of a challenge like say i don't want to have like the bowie knife and i don't want like uh, my ring of fire to be like insanely good i want to be able to try like playing everything with no upgrades without you know like buying the game and making a whole new account i've already bought this game so many times also the machete such a cool inspect animation it's very subtle but it's it's nice you get to actually take a good look at it you know you bring it on in for a, a fun animation rubbing your thumb against it and you do a little spin a baseball bat could take some lessons besides being like just a taunt actually maybe instead of tesla storm even though i do like it for the amount of points i can get it probably makes more sense to use a uh, frenzied guard for this weapon because regardless if i'm like stepping back and swinging I'm still going to get hit a decent amount of times. And if I ever want to get this thing to legendary, I need to save my scrap. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and change it. I haven't used it in a while either. Let's bring in Frenzy Guard. And we got enough to get pack three, so let's grab it. There we go. And now it's fully pack-a-punch. What's going on, Abomination? Bitch. Get one tap. And you know what? For the rest of you, Frenzy Guard. Yeah, start walking. Nice try, Mimic. You can't do shit to me. This does swing fucking in extremely slow. Oh, Shatter Blast might just save my life right there. Shout out Elemental Pop. And one thing that we didn't do last time we were on this map, Mimic, what the fuck was that? I just saw you here and you disappeared. But one thing that we did not do was go into the Derizen Drac arcade machine. We did the, the, oh, fuck me. We, we died and hit a nuke. All right, well, I need to get my perks back. But we did the knock one and not Derizen Drac. And I want to go and see Derizen Drac. I do need to get some of my perks back before then. Let's hit our frenzied guard. 
and grab just about everything back that we can this is a very bad spot to be at let's uh make like a tree and get out of here and actually there's just so many side easter eggs on this map that i forget about a lot of them this little arcade cabinet right here if we can somehow kill a zombie with phd um let's try to get him right here and then throw a stun and then let's slide into him did that not do anything did that not work or do i need to do multiple or was it something else was it dead wire Oh, I thought that would work. I remember if we can get this to work, then we can do a little like race around the whole map. It's definitely more fun with more people, but I kind of want to do it. I'm going to look it up. Okay, I looked it up. Apparently you do kill him with PhD, but I must have not been doing it right. Maybe the stun doing damage to him like stops it and I need to kill them solely with PhD. Maybe I should get decoys instead, but I'm I'm getting sidetracked hard. Let's just go to Horizon Drack and then we can figure out uh, the PhD thing later. And I will say, despite how cool Noct was, this is... <laughs> this is pretty lazy because all they do is like throw you on the roof here with uh the little outbreak dragon that they've already had and i know the dragon the dragon's originally from the rise and but they could have at least like threw a castle or something in here i mean i'm not complaining i am complaining but i'm not complaining it's still really cool that they have this at all but they could have you know spruced the place up a bit you know and i think if we fill it all the way up we get a better reward and we could even get the crystal axe from this oh he's frozen Oh yeah, that's how you eat them. That's fucking weird. All right, see a dragon. Dragon D's, by the way. What are you giving us? I couldn't even collect my rewards and it ended. Fuck the rising drag. All right, let's see if we can get this arcade machine working now. Okay, we got an insta-kill this time. You know what? We're going to try it. I don't care if we still have a lot of zombies left. The more the merrier, I say. We're going to throw it right here, literally on the cabinet. And... Oh, shit. Maybe the more, not the merrier. Go over to the decoy, please. I can't even get to him. Oh, that's fucked up. Okay, let me get my perks back, and then we'll try this one more time. Damn, we're actually so low on money. You get no money using the machete. Well, at least the way I'm playing it, going down four times. Now, let's try this again. I got one more decoy left, so it's got to work here. Go to it. How did it not work? Oh, they dropped me a self-revive, though. This is fucked up. Work machine. Maybe it means I need to jump down from the bridge and kill him with like the PhD blast like that and not the sliding kill. But whatever, I'm over it. I'm also kind of over frenzied guard, but I'll use it one more time to get my armor back. And I'm getting Tesla Storm back because we are running low on points because we keep going down. This is actually more difficult than I thought it would be. I didn't take like the swing of the melee into account. I was more thinking about the lunge the whole time, but the swing is just so slow. Oh, fuck. And we're down once again. This is fucked up. Later, Abomination. <sighs> this is becoming a tradition each round to go back and buy my perks. And I'm going to go back to the spawn room. Because I feel like I can train better there than anywhere else on this map. But at least we have enough to fully upgrade this. It's a gold real quick. Zombie fuck off. Actually, I feel like I know why I haven't used Frenzy Guard that much. It's just very slow to regain it. It might be one of the, the slower shield upgrades to get but i already almost have tesla storm like full that's why it's goaded we're at 1198 kills i think we're getting close to the amount of kills that we need but i don't know how many our uh field upgrades have taken away from us so i would say we're probably about like 200 away i think that's a fair assessment so i might have been off uh, a little bit on our rounds we'll probably get done with this around like round 31 now almost went down again if you can believe that but this is fine I need an excuse to use Tesla Storm anyways. Give me all these points, and I can go get the rest of my perks back. Again. All right, this is the last time I'm buying all my perks back. I promise. No more going down. No more nonsense. We're gaming from here on out. Damn, this is fucking chaotic. Just nothing but zombies around me. With Tesla Storm going. And this abomination still not dead. How many times have I swung on him? Fuck. No, we're not going down again. I promised we wouldn't. I'm keeping it. That was fucking close, though. I'm not going to lie to you. Extremely close. Actually, my first prediction is looking more and more likely as the time goes by. Because we're at 1,500 kills, and we still don't have it done. Oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Talk myself out of it. Made it to our mastery badge with the machete. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun until our next exfil shows up. It's time to use some death machines. Oh, so satisfying to tear through waves of zombies with no effort. Speaking of no effort, quick insta-kill Tesla Storm. Every zombie in the round's dead. 
What else do they got in this bag of tricks? We can use a war machine. This one's also fun. Get to hit him with a little boop. And just every zombie dies. Does it do damage against the abomination? A little bit. Like, actually, just a very tiny bit. Maybe because I'll shoot him in the asshole. Happens if I hit him right in the mouth. Still nothing? That doesn't even blow up his, his face? Oh yeah, he don't give a fuck. He don't care about nothing. Damn. Takes fucking 800 stabs to kill him. And I went down again. I said I wouldn't, but I did. I'll, at least I'll take him out to get up. Hopefully. No, he just is way too fucking strong. You know what? If I, I tombstone shadow here and if I die, I die. It's whatever. Later, abomination. Idiot. There we go. Alright, let's go, Xfil. Come on, let's get there before it goes away. Don't you disappear on me, Rabinoff. There we go. And I'm gonna buy some Gersh's, because those are fun. I'm gonna throw one down right on the Abomination. Enjoy that, pal. And I'm hitting a Chopper Gunner. We got multiple helis coming into this. This is so ridiculous. How many bullets does it take for this to kill an Abomination? It does, like, 14, 1700 damage to him. Oh, now he's dead. Took quite a few shots, though. This is one zombie left. Where? Where the fuck are you? Show yourself, coward. Oh, there he is. You know what? Into a black hole. Dumbass. All right, go ahead and land. Let's get out of here, Raptor 1. That was definitely tougher than I'd like to admit, but we got out of there with uh, 286,000 score, 2,000 eliminations, 679 crits, no revives in six towns. Damn, dude. And are you going to show us our calling card this time? Last two times you have in game. Now's a good time to start doing uh, what you're supposed to do. Oh, wait, look at this. It's trying to show level, but it's kind of lagging out. Where's my calling card? There it is. Now we have our Machete Master. And that puts us at a grand total of 134 out of 168. We've got 34 to go. And most, if not all, of these are zombies. There's a few for multiplayer, but 99% of these are zombies. But there you have it. We got another mastery calling card down. I just hope that this game stays playable and they keep people from being able to boot you out of the game or just completely crash it, you know, out of here. And that we can enjoy Cold War zombies for... Uh, the foreseeable future. But I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.